Understanding the phrase, throw a fastball, in English. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into an interesting and dynamic expression, throw a fastball. This phrase is not just about sports, but it's also used in everyday English conversations. Let's explore its meanings, usage, and the context in which you might encounter it. First, let's understand the literal meaning. In baseball, to throw a fastball is to pitch the ball at high speed straight towards the catcher. It's one of the most basic and powerful pitches in the game. This literal use is straightforward and is specifically related to the sport of baseball. Now, let's look at the figurative use of throw a fastball. In everyday language, this phrase can mean to present someone with a challenge or a difficult situation unexpectedly. It implies a scenario that requires quick thinking or reaction, much like a batter needs to react quickly to a fastball in baseball. For example, if your boss suddenly asks you a tough question during a meeting, you might say, my boss really threw me a fastball there. Understanding when and how to use this phrase can enhance your conversational skills. It's often used in a professional or casual setting. For instance, in a business context, you might hear, the new policy changes are really throwing a fastball at our department. In everyday conversation, someone might say, life threw me a fastball when I had to move to a new city unexpectedly. It's also important to understand the cultural context. Throw a fastball is deeply rooted in American culture due to the popularity of baseball. Knowing this can help non-native speakers understand its usage and the nuances behind it, especially in American English. We hope this video helped you understand the phrase, throw a fastball, in both its literal and figurative senses. Remember, Language is not just about words but also about the culture and context in which they are used. Stay tuned for more insightful videos on English language learning. And as always, keep practicing.